Hey, it's Adrian. Today I'm taking a really quick first look at the Pixel 7 Pro, but please do like and subscribe because I am going to be releasing a full review where I go over camera performance, battery life, and some of the features that are specific to the Pixel 7 Pro. I am also going to be reviewing the Pixel Watch, so if you're interested in that, stick around for that and subscribe. But let's get started with this first look. All right, so in the box, we can see the Pixel 7 Pro and that presentation looks really sharp. I'm really a fan of that camera module there. Take the phone out and we have a charging cable, Type-C charging cable, um, data transfer accessory, and just a manual. Design-wise, the phone looks really nice and it feels pretty premium in the hand. I did see a lot of photos of it, but you know, up close and in person, it is a really nice looking phone. Now, I am a really big fan of this camera module here and you can see that's, you know, kind of deep, you know, way more than you would find on another phone. But there is a huge benefit with that, which is that when it's flat, you know, it doesn't rock at all. So that's a huge plus in my book now. If I compare that to my S22 Ultra, which does have the camera modules sticking out, you can see there is noticeable rocking there. Um, but if we just take a comparison look at both of these phones, so you can see the S22 Ultra is just a little bit taller. If I take a look at how wide both of these phones are, let me just superpose that on top. So the S22 Ultra is just a little bit wider as well, and in terms of thickness they're probably roughly the same if you don't factor in that camera module at the back there in which case the pixel 7 pro it might be a little bit wider at the widest end but overall i'm um, pretty similar in terms of form factor this is a 6.7 inch display but let's take a closer look at the sides of the phone so we have the power button volume button and you can see that it is a matte type of finish which contrasts really nicely against the polished uh, corners or sides of the phone. So that looks really sharp, really premium. And at the back, we of course have the three camera layout on the Pro and then also a flash. At the bottom, we have the Type-C port and downward firing speakers. And on the other side, we have the SIM card tray. If I run my finger across the Google logo, I can't feel a thing. So that's either right on the surface level or right below. While I was holding both phones, the S22 Ultra did feel a little bit heavier. So if I weigh that out, that's about 229 grams and the Pixel 7 Pro, 212 grams. So about a 17 gram difference. Quick fingerprint test so I have the S22 Ultra and Pixel 7 Pro. You can see that they both open up pretty quickly again. But one thing I do notice is that on the S22 Ultra, I can get away with a really light tap, so, and it opens up. However, on the Pixel 7 Pro, if I do a light tap, see it says press firmly on the sensor. So I have to do a little bit longer and then it opens up. So not a big deal but if you're one of those people who are like you unlocking your phone multiple times a day and you just like to do a quick tap and then have your phone open um you just have to press a little bit longer on this not a big deal one thing i'm already missing not having is the ability to just double tap my screen after i'm done using it to turn it off i don't see that feature on here i know there are apps you could download to enable that but why can't there be that functionality just natively as the phone ships out of the box? Quick camera test since that is one of the standout features on these Pixel phones. So you can see we have the ultra wide, 1X, 2X, and 5X. And as I get closer on the 5X, you can see it automatically switches to macro mode. And you can see much more detail. So I'm gonna take a photo one-handed and zoomed all the way in, which really introduces a lot of camera shake. So let's see how that uh, blur feature works. But anyway, I'll take a 5X shot. Let me just get out of the macro mode. There we go. Two, one, and ultra wide. And let me just review those. Reviewing those photos I took. So here we have the ultra wide. And if I zoom in, you can see everything's properly exposed and in focus. And of course, I'm in ideal lighting situation right now. So that's to be expected, but let's look at the other. So this was the 1X, 2X, 5X, and you can really see a lot of detail there. And then finally the macro. I mean, you could see a lot of detail, 
However, it's not the sharpest photo. Um, you know, you can see a little bit of artifacting going on there, but you know, it's decent in a pinch. But in my full review, I will be testing the camera in more challenging situations like low light and backlit subjects. Quick sound test, so let me know what you guys think sounds best. So here's the Pixel 7 Pro. Pixel 7 Pro. S22 Ultra. So I'm not sure I was gonna come across on the camera recording, but in person, the Pixel 7 Pro seems to have, you know, fuller sounding sound. If I can explain it that way, there's a bit more thump. So um, I definitely give the edge to the Pixel 7 Pro. General performance seems pretty good on here. So, you know, it's quick to swipe between screens. And if I go into like say maps, you can see I can go around that pretty easily as well as zoom in. It's pretty fluid and uh, reactive. So the Tensor chip that they have on here, the G2 seems to be pretty fine. Now, my internet's a little bit slow. I'm just in the basement, but I mean, once things are loaded up, it seems fine. And again, I will be testing this, you know, a bit more with some gaming and more resource intensive apps. I did turn on the screen refresh, but I haven't seen it drop below 60, even when I'm just in like, you know, a basic menu and nothing is going on. So I know this is supposed to be variable up to, I believe 10 Hertz, but I have not seen it drop. So it's just between 60 and 120. All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna leave it right there. Again, this was just a really quick first look at the phone. I am going to be doing a full review where I put the phone through its paces. So if there's anything you want me to touch on or check, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Take care.